everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i want us to speak about how to deal with annoying neighbors so i'm sure you've all gone through that at some point in your life or you're even going through that at the moment so you have to stay tuned for more please It. It's a company that deals with photography, videography, and events planning and management. And also with that package, we have makeup by me. <laughs> you see this makeup? See? Yeah, that's what you get. So anytime you need our services, I'll put the description and <laughs> under the description box. I'll put the Facebook, Instagram pages so that anytime you need to make an order, you can always remember to come at us through that. Thank you so much. So guys, the kind of annoying neighbors I mean are, first of all, people who like knocking at your door for literally anything and everything. Like for example, they come, Mama Naniako, like, duh. And that's, it's like, for example, it's like 5 a.m. in the morning. Like, duh, ako. Number two, people who just do things that they feel like they want to do and they forget that they're living in a community because everyone has a life, but we don't bring our life out there. For example, they put extremely loud music and we can't even concentrate on eating our supper or our dinner. Like, just chill with the music, bro. Or people who like come, they park somewhere where they know very well they live at 5 a.m. in the morning and not everyone else will be awake at that time. Then at 4.59, they're busy ringing your bell. Like, honey, you gotta park somewhere where you know you'll, you'll live, um, you know what? You'll have an easy way out, yeah? So the first tip with dealing with such people is be friendly to all, but don't be friends with all. That's one thing that you should always remember. Be friendly to all. Say hi to them when you meet them at the stairs or at the parking. Just, just say hi to them, but remember to put your boundaries because the moment you become friends with everyone, then people Number two, mind your own business. I mean, the reason why you're living in a community is not so that you can be able to know everyone's business. Mama, nani alifanya hivi? Nani alikuwa na chapo jana? Nani alifanya? No, you don't have time for that. Mind your own business and you'll, you'll grow really rich. Hmm. Number three is keep your private life private. Because if you let everyone in, they will come in and they'll come in with a bank. That's why you find people come in to ask you questions that they really shouldn't know. I mean, like, that's my private life. Like, why are you getting into my private life? But it's because you've opened the door for them. So if you open this door for them, it means they will get in and they'll want to know everything, including the, the food you ate yesterday. Like, is that any of your business? So keep your private life private and people will, you see these people who, yes, they're friendly to you, but you wouldn't really know what they're up to. That's the kind of person you should be, yeah? Number four is remember you're living in a community. I mean, for example, I'm speaking about people who live in apartments, especially because if you have your own compound, it's a bit different because you get to have your own kind of space. But once you're living in an apartment, remember you're living in a community. So you have to be very conscious of the things you do, whether how they'll affect the other person or, you know, it's not all about you. You have to be kind to everyone, yeah? Remember, like for example, if you want to pour water outside your balcony, I mean, someone could have, um, hang their clothes there and you'll mess up their clothes so such small things that people tend to forget remember once you're living in an apartment you are a community so you should live as a community like be caring to other people don't put extremely loud loud music if you're living next to someone you know like probably i got a baby like last month and now you're putting booming music maybe we can't even sleep at night like really anyway the final tip is Remember, God is love, and if you want to live well with people, you've got to spread the love of God. Like, if someone is in need, remember to lend a helping hand to them. Like, don't be so mean with your everything. You've been blessed for a reason. You've been blessed so that you can be a blessing to someone else. So always remember that God is love. By the way, that's, 
that's like if you forget everything else you remember that god is love and for you to live well with people you have got to spread love in the smallest of ways for example it's someone's birthday go wish them a happy birthday if they're having a function go ask them do you need any help or you know such kind of things yeah so i believe that those five tips will make you better neighbors and even when you go out there to to interact with people you just remember the five be friends with all number one but don't be be friendly to all but don't be friends with all number two mind your own business yes number three keep your private life private number four remember you're living in a community so you have to live well number five remember god is love and you have to spread love to everyone else anyway thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for giving me the support this far i'm honestly so so happy keep liking keep subscribing keep turning on notifications so that you can receive a notification once a new video is up and remember live love laugh and subscribe and finally follow me on all my social media pages facebook i'm sharon googie instagram i'm sharon googie all of that and always comment so that i can get to interact with you better and to just know who you are bye guys till next time bye mwah, mwah, mwah.